So for today, we're going to be looking at the Chroma Cloak set for the Titans. If you guys don't know, we've already done the review video and the shader video. They're both right here. You guys can check it out. And we're also done with the Hunter video, which is right here. So I definitely think you guys should check out all these videos, specifically the review video. We'll go through how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts, and some other annoying things that I've noticed about the armor. The shader video, it's purely just my favorite shaders because if I do all the shaders, I legitimately fall asleep. Like it's not even a joke at this point. And the hunter video we go through all of the pieces that i use which is all of them and make individual sets like we're going to do in this video that one's really cool because i think like out of all four three of them are amazing and the one's just kind of like it's weird it's just weird not bad just weird so definitely recommend checking out those videos if you guys like them comment like subscribe really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed so if you can do me a favor like comment sub hit the bell notification because that also does help quite a bit other than that i appreciate y'all let's get into it start off we're going to be using the abeyant leap for the set for the chroma cloak piece we're actually going to be using the helmet for this one now the apex draconic gauntlets with the anthemic invocation plate and then mark of the taken king is the other pieces we're going to be using so this one is i'm gonna be honest this one is pretty cool in my opinion the only annoyance i have with it i guess is the fact that like i don't think the arms are the best choice for this for the for the females for the men's i think it's fine i think it's just the fact that the females the arms look a little bit too small which is like my biggest annoyance with it but <clears throat> like i really like the fact that the arms glow which is really weird because the apex draconic gauntlet specifically if i remember correctly the helmet and the boots do not change or do not have a glow but the arms do which is really weird but <clears throat> i i don't know like i like the arms for the males but the females feel i feel like it's just a little too small maybe or it's oh i think i know what it is okay so i think it's the fact that like the chest piece looks smaller with the arms which is why i'm like not liking it because and the helmet looks super big proportional to the male titans the male titans the helmet looks kind of fine but for the females it looks a little too bulky so i guess that's like where my issue comes in it's just the the helmet with the bottom does not look good so Either way, like for the shadering, welded brasses we're using because I love this shader. It gives you a rich purple, which I wanted to combine it with the helmet. So overall, I really like this set. It's just more so like, can you can you like really ignore the pieces that I talked about for the females? Because the male, I think, look amazing. But let me know what you guys think. As for the next set, we're going to be using Kep Kepri's Horn. Now, I like this set, but at the same time, I don't. I don't know what it is. And if you know, let me explain it to me because I, I can't really... I can't explain why I don't like it. So for this one, helmet, I think everyone's gonna know Kepri's horn is what we're using, and obviously we're gonna be going for a bug look because the crawling chaos plate is what we're using. The chroma cloak gauntlets look really cool because the like not feathers, but the like fur at the top of the arms, specifically the pauldrons, I think look really cool and gives off that bug look really well. Uh, the boots snow plume greaves is what we're using specifically because the inner thighs have like this really weird th like fur too as well which i think looks good and the anthemic and the anthemic invocation markers we're using because the shader actually makes the the mark look feathery so not feathery but like like furry and that's kind of like my main thing is like it looks really good kind of because it looks like bug not bug fur but like bug like and not antennas but like you, you know what i'm trying to say and yeah like i you know what it is it, it probably is this it's the fact that forbidden wish on the kepri's horn looks absolutely terrible i don't know like it's too dark it looks like more like rock almost which is why i don't like it so i think switching the helmet out for something else would be better that being said i don't think titans have a bug look for helmet other than this one so maybe switching out something else but yeah i think that's like my biggest issue i think if i wanted to fix that problem I don't know if the shader would be really, really good for it, but uh, Dreaming Spectrum would probably be a better choice if it does the things I think it'll do. So let me know what you guys think about this one. As for the next set, we're going to be using Kynan Ramparts with Trace of the Throne Ornament. This one is really cool. I actually really like this one. There's a, there's just one problem with it. Well I, well, I will explain this in later. For the chest piece Chroma Cloak plate, for the helmet and the boots, we're going to be using the Apex Draconic Greaves. And then for the mark, Ephotic Limb Alarm mark is what we're using. So I actually really like this set uh, for the males, not for the females. Uh, but I, I can also explain why. And this also is a problem for the males as well. It's not like, oh, the females just have this problem. The males have it too. It's just, it's a chest piece. I think the chest piece is just too small. It looks really weird that the, the fact that there's nothing on the shoulders. It's just like blank. 
Um, so I think that's my big problem with it. If I were to change anything, it would be the chess piece for both class or for both genders. I feel like just a bulkier chess piece or honestly, at this point, I would probably just put like one of the chess pieces from like, uh, the Oryx raid. I think the Oryx raid chess piece would be really cool. That being said, it loses that like metallic, uh, like blade look that the boots and the chess piece have. Um, so that's like my big issue. It's just the fact that like. I would switch it out for something that has like a blade metallic look because the boots have that like doesn't look organic in the sense of like uh like like organic bone it more it more looks to me like like a metal which it makes sense because it's using uh uh not a chromatic dragon i i was explain this uh it's a metallic dragon so it makes sense that it looks metallic because it's from a metallic dragon specifically a gold dragon so i would probably switch the chess piece out for something that has that feel of like it doesn't look super organic like a bone but more so like metal so that would be my best thing here for the shader nebula rose just because again it's the one of the better shaders that i will say you can notice the gold sheen underneath the armor but it's like you have to actually look for it so that's kind of like my thing where it's it's the best shader for it because it does change it off change or turn it off to some extent so i definitely think this one is cool i would just switch out the chess piece and i'd probably be happy with that honestly and then last but not least we're going to be using the doomfang pauldrons for this one the base look and for the chroma cloak pieces it's going to be the greaves and the mark so for the other pieces the photic limb and lar helmet with the apex draconic plate is a combo i like to do because i think it's a really cool combo that being said for some reason the chest piece and the boots for draconic plate not the helmet i don't know why i said the helmet last time but those two pieces don't have a glow and you guys will notice it for from the males the males have that purple glow on the neck not so much for the females i don't know why bungie probably will fix this it should not be intended but for the shader in bergusi and night you guys will see this in the warlock one as well because it's a really good shade of forge it's a really good shader overall i really like it but yeah i i like this set a lot i'm gonna be honest with you guys one of the pieces that I would switch out immediately would be the Chroma Cloak Greaves. I don't like these boots at all. They're like my least favorite from the whole set. And that's what I usually tend to do when I combine the two pieces. Because if you guys don't know, for, from all of the four sets that I usually make, one set usually has two pieces. Um, and that's more so to help out. And I explained this a while ago, but I might as well explain it again. This is more so to help out the Titans and the Warlocks because sometimes I cannot make a set from just the Bond or a, or, or a, um, a Mark. And the tit Hunters, I can make a, a set with it. But so back then I decided, fuck it, I'll just make one set that it uses both pieces so that way it's easier for the Titans and uh, Warlocks. That That's why I usually use two pieces. This one is a prime example of that. I don't like the boots at all, which is why I just combined it with the cloak because I do think the cloak is the better choice. And yeah, I think the boots are just the worst pieces if I'm being quite honest. So I definitely like this set. I would just switch out the boots for something else. And that really would be it, honestly, because I think the mark looks amazing with it. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming to this point. I am working on a bunch of content. Nothing has changed from the Hunter video because I'm making all of these videos in one go. So yeah, nothing's going to be changing from this part, but I will be explaining the other things that I'm currently working on. Specifically, I explained a little bit on it on the Hunter video, but I am going to be working on some other fashion from other games. And instead of doing like a specific video, like how I usually do the editing here, where for this one, I have like a whole graphic where I show the tight end like male and female and then the armor pieces that i use instead of that i'm just gonna dive into the game without a script or anything and basically just well not a script but i'm gonna have guidelines of what i want to talk about and then i'm just gonna be explaining like what i think about the fashion how i go about it and stuff like that so that way i can just rip the band-aid off because in my head i've been trying to make this perfect video and perfection is kind of like the enemy of whatever i forget the saying but essentially i just have to go make a video and just basically rip that bandit off so i could be like okay cool like the first video is done i can just do whatever i want now so we're gonna start off with final fantasy 14 first and then we're gonna go to warframe and then um world of warcraft so we're gonna be doing those three games because i do think those three games are the most that i play honestly because i destiny 2 is not the only mmo that i play i play final fantasy 14 world of warcraft um warframe and Warframe would probably be my most favorite fashion game because it's really crazy. But 14 has to be like up there as well. I don't know. It's we'll, we'll talk about it later. And I do want to talk about um, like a fashion video that I'll talk about in the Warlock video. I'll talk about 
talk about it more in depth in that one so, so that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i'll see you guys later